My name is Paul Thompson. I'm an R2 builder, and uh, we build R2-D2s, uh, astromech droids, if you will. We do a variety of different uh, uh, droids, from Chopper to BBA to, the, of course, traditional R2-D2. And uh, what got me started in this was I was at a Star Wars celebration one year, and I basically just fell in love with the idea of owning my own R2-D2. So I built this red R2-M5, uh, and basically it's fully remote control and uh, I bring them to the convention here just to entertain kids and adults alike really. And how long did it take you to put together from start to finish? Uh, this, this one's right around two years, start to finish. I mean nights and weekends doing, um, you know, a full-time job as well. So this, uh, it's, it's not something you can just uh, whip together. <laughs> And inside of it, you have motors in the feet? Yeah, I have two motors, two separate motors in each, in the back feet. And then there's also a motor that rotates the dome. Um, I have uh, basic uh, sound control, and uh, so the head will turn and he can move around various lights and, and blinky bits. And the head's made out of what kind of material? The head is actually made from aluminum. The skins are aluminum as well. Um, the, the main structure of the body, the legs, that's all wood. So, wood with Bondo on it and, uh, you know, just lots and lots of sanding. And you have a computer inside of it that controls any motions? No, no. Um, basically, it's a telepresence robot, so it's all human controlled. And what did it cost for you to put together? You know, this one is right, it's, oh, you know, over several years it's, it's taken me. Um, uh, about right around four thousand dollars. And that's just for materials. Together. Yeah, it, it's hard. I'm, I never really kept track, so it's hard to say exactly how much I actually spent. It's definitely just materials. Oh, excuse me, and sorry, did you use plans that were on the website? Yeah. Or? So basically, we go to astromech.net, and there are plans there. There's builder blogs. There's uh, a lot of different ways. A lot of different builders had actually built uh, droids, and you know we're. Just a big, a bunch of bunch of guys that will help share information and help you build your own droid. Well, thank you so much for the information. You're welcome.